Ladies and gentlemen, it is another big day for Call of Duty. Today marks the roadmap for Season 3. Lately, we've been getting a ton of news and you'll love to see it, but what we've received today is really, really big. A bunch of new stuff coming with Season 3. Not only does it mark the return of Vladimir Makarov since the end of the Modern Warfare 3 campaign, which if everything goes according to plan, I should have a story video going up tomorrow on that one. Uh, so make sure you're subscribed. Smash that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on that. It's a really good one, but stay tuned for that. But on top of that, we got information on 6v6, four maps coming within Season 3, Zombies, Warzone, and of course, the return of Rebirth Island. This is the entire roadmap, everything that is coming within Season 3. So without further ado, let's dive into it. Ladies and gentlemen, here is our Season 3 roadmap. It's broken down into three sections, Modern Warfare 3, which includes multiplayer and zombies, um, most of which for zombies is coming in season, not at launch. So keep that in mind. We will have a look at that later on. Warzone, predominantly predominantly focused on Rebirth Island and then multiplayer, a lot of maps. And then of course we have our weapons and operators. This is what is included within everything. And you'll see a little bit more about that as we dive through and look at this. So let's dive in and actually have a look at what is going on here. So starting out with multiplayer. So first off, we have six total core 6v6 map, which is insane. The first map that we have is called Six Star. This one is takes place on a rooftop in Dubai. It is a mid-sized map. As far as this one goes, it really looks like raid to me. You have the kind of parking area over here, the pool, the back spawn area that would normally be the kind of parking garage. It really looks like raid to me, but there is no announcement in there that this is a recreation of raid, but it is coming at launch. The second one is called Emergency. This one is a small sized map coming at launch. Once again, this one kind of looks like high rise to me, but at the same time, not really. As you can see, it is a very small map. They really like putting out these maps. You really like to see it. After this, we have Grow House. This is obviously playing into the 420 vibe, which we're going to see more of later on. This is actually a remake map of Sphere from Call of Duty Vanguard, which is kind of cool. If you know that map, you'll know what you're getting here. And again, this is a small sized map. Then we have Tanked. This one takes place in the Vondel Zoo. This reminds me of Zoo from Call of Duty Black Ops, but of course, it's a completely different layout, a different map. Then we have our mid-season map. So these ones are repurposed maps. Now, the interesting thing about this one is it is a small sized map, and this one called Checkpoint actually takes place on Rebirth Island. It's one of the POIs off to the edge of Rebirth Island, which is cool. Then we have Grime. This one is a medium-sized map, again, coming mid-season. This one takes place in the London Canal and honestly looks pretty damn good. Amazing to see this amount of 6v6 maps going into a season. They clearly listened to us with Modern Warfare 2. Four new game modes are arriving, the first of which is Capture the Flag. We know and love that. Another one that we know is One in the Chamber, of course, a fan favorite party mode. Then we have Minefield. I don't know how I feel about this one. This is essentially Call of Duty, but with Marty Dom with mines. So it's kill confirmed, domination, and hardpoint. When you kill someone, they drop a mine. Very annoying. I don't know who's going to like that one. And then we have Escort. It's really weird. I was actually streaming the other day. My Twitch is linked down below and we were talking about this. If they, they asked me if I could add a game mode in, what would it be? This is one that was, I believe, added in Black Ops 4. Basically, you escort this drone from one side of the map to another taking place. You, you're either defending or attacking. One team is moving the escort. The other is trying to stop it. I really like this game mode, so I'm glad to see this one return. We're also getting another Vortex game mode coming in season. We know what that one is. Zombies brought into multiplayer. We also have new ranked rewards, as you're seeing here, all the way up to rank 50. You can unlock various different items and skins. We know how ranked works. I'm not going to go too far into that now. New perks and equipment. So starting off, we have the Gunslinger Vest, Modular Assault Rig, Compression Carrier, reinforced boots, high grain antenna. So these are all various different perks that are going to do different things. Starting off with the gunslinger. And essentially what this one does is refreshes stamina on kill, improved reload speed, reload while sprinting, increases weapon swap speed and spawn with maximum reserve ammo. So this is if you're moving around really fast with secondary weapons. The other one is called the modular assault rig. And essentially what this one does is you immediately regenerate health upon taking a kill or getting an objective, which is of course really, really good. And it reduces the effects of gas grenades. So this is one I expect to see some people using boots, reinforced boots, immune to reduction effects. So in other words, if you're stunned or something like that, you can still move at regular pace. And we have the high grain antenna. This one zooms out your map. Enemies appear on radar longer and you're, you can see enemy ally radar ping. So kind of more information for you there. And then the new tactical is the EMD mine. This one's coming in season. This one's a proximity trigger mine that sticks to a surface. Once triggered, the mine shoots 
out a tracker device to reveal the enemy location. So will be interesting for search and destroy there. And enhanced vision goggles. This is coming mid-season. Toggle between a normal vision and enhanced vision with integrated target highlighting has a limited battery. This could be very, very powerful, like overpowered, especially in search and destroy. It makes it easier to see enemies. And I don't know what happens with walls and things like that, but we'll, we'll have to wait to see. Then we have zombies. Keep in mind, everything that we're looking at here is coming in season. So the dark ether story continues. We know what's going on there. We're going to have more portals, things like that. Um, we're also going to have a third rift, just as we talked about. New challenges and schematics, the Deadwire Detonators, the Golden Mask Filter, and the Sergeant's Beret. So what do these do? So the Deadwire Detonator, I'm not exactly sure what it does, but it works on explosives, lethals, and launchers. So it's kind of like an ammo mod for explosives. The Golden Mask Filter, I don't find this one that strong either. It's basically a mask that self-regenerates. I don't know why you need this when you can just go to an ammo cache, but... Hey, I guess it's a little bit better. And the Sergeant's Beret, this one's cool. When you put this on, the enemy mercs no longer attack you. So essentially, you're disguising yourself as a merc. On top of this, we have a new warlord called Rainmaker coming mid-season. And that is essentially it for zombies. We'll get more information that on the Season 3 Reloaded update. So stay tuned for that one. Then, of course, we have Rebirth Island. We already talked about this one yesterday. Uh, we have new POIs, as you are seeing here. There is clearly a vault of some sort. That'll obviously be an Easter egg. And then it just goes over the rest of the map. We know this map. We love this map. We really don't need to talk about this too much. And they are adding new game modes. So first of all, we have Re Warzone Boot Camp. This is new normal war zone with 44 players but 20 players and 44 bots i don't know why they're doing this it'll be extremely slow but hey it is there then of course we have rebirth resurgence we now know the player count is 44 players we know what resurgence is we don't need to talk about that then we have rebirth resurgence loaded this is basically resurgence but you get to bring your weapons into the game you don't have to worry about ground loot or anything like that we also have rebirth lockdown this is like the respawn hard point game mode that we already saw in vondel then this is what we saw in the trailer yesterday the rebirth infill strikes essentially every once in a while when you infill in game an airstrike is going to attack the main prison building, knock down the water tower, knock down the lighthouse, and change how the map actually works. So it's not us calling in the airstrikes, it actually happens pre-match, and it only happens a certain percentage of the time. And as you can see, this is kind of some of the stuff that it'll do. So it knocks down the lighthouse, it'll destroy the prison roof, knock down the water tower, and that's what we are looking at. Now, new public event climb and punishment so this is a new gulag and essentially it's going to be on vondel and yurzikstan and essentially it gives you a ladder in the middle of the map that you can climb and escape which will probably be very slow and easy to shoot someone off of so high risk a little bit of a reward i guess this is a really interesting one this is going to be available on rebirth coming mid-season and it's a way to increase your armor to 200 instead of 150 hit points and a, basically the way that this is going to work is it's going to be an infill sequence so it's a public event and it should happen for everyone so some random games everyone's going to have 200 armor should change the time to kill, make things a little interesting. Also, another mission contract called Spy Drones. Basically, some drones are going to appear in the air and your team is set to take them down. That's essentially what's going on there. Also, Resurgence, I believe Rebirth Island is getting a Champion's Quest. So the new quest is going to be on Rebirth as well. There's also a new field upgrade coming called Squad Rage, which is essentially Battle Rage, but it'll work for your whole team around you as long as they are within a given radius. There's another new field field upgrade coming mid-season called Utility Box. This is going to replenish your ammo, your grenades, as well as your armor. So basically an upgraded armor and ammunition as well. We also have a new kill streak coming in season. This one is foresight. We know how powerful this is. It shows you where the zone goes. I don't know why this one is necessary. I don't love it. Also in season, the specialist perk package is making a return, which essentially gives you all of the perks. It's super powerful. I like this when they had it before. It is coming back again. They also talk about swimming being added to rebirth. Nothing too fancy there. Also, biometric scanner coming at launch. Basically, this is going to, once a game, it is going to give you a key card that has increasing rarity, I believe, based off of how good of a player you are. You then can take your key card to one of these biometric scanners. There's 10 of them scattered around the map. And when you do, it's going to give you a redacted kind of a piece of equipment if you have Orion. So Orion is incredibly rare. Bronze, you get some ammunition, cash, armor plates, lethals, and tacticals. And this works your way up to classified weapons and things. So I'm assuming things like ray guns and things like that. Also in season, they are changing it so that 
Rebirth Island is going to have variable times of day when you play it. So the atmospheric conditions will actually change. And here we can see the kind of different versions of it. We have our daytime, we have kind of the dusk, and then we have this foggy version, kind of like the classic Rebirth Island that we saw, which is awesome. I think they should do this on all Warzone maps. Also around Rebirth Island, there's going to be these display kind of monitors around that are going to display where most players are. They call them the heat zones and things like that. So you can kind of know where to go around the map. Also, there's something redacted about it. So I'm guessing there's some sort of Easter egg to do with it as well. Also, this doesn't include ranked play, but there's a new feature that comes at launch. When you land with your teammates, you're going to get a bonus. I'm not exactly sure why they're doing that, but it's strange nonetheless. Also, weapon trade stations are making a return. We know how those work already. And then this part, what we are looking at here, this is the Easter egg. This is interesting. You can see some sort of bunker with computer screens. Everything is redacted here, so there's no point of going over it, but be sure to do some Easter egg hunting on Rebirth when it comes out. As you can see on Yurzik stand, there is also going to be bunkers coming as well in season. And I'm guessing that this might have something to do with the launch of Black Ops Golf War, but I could be wrong. Also, Warzone ranked here as well. It is coming to Rebirth Island, which is absolutely awesome. It then goes over Warzone Mobile, but I'm not going to go over that one at all. Now let's go over everything that is coming to all game modes. So first of all, we have the FJX Horus, which is a submachine gun. I believe this is like the MP9. They are going with a theme here that is kind of the weapons from Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. You're going to see a lot of that. We have the Moore Sniper Rifle. This is the one where you chamber one bullet at a time straight out of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I think people will like that. We have the Gladiator Melee Weapon. This is kind of like a push knife. Then on top of this, we have the BAL-27. This is a, if you played Advanced Warfare, you know this weapon, it is making a return. It was really good in that game. So I would expect to see more. Then we have our aftermarket parts. You can see some of them here. You can pause it here if you want to check them all out. Uh, but the one thing that I will point out is that it is going to be compatible with some Modern Warfare 2 weapons. So as you're going to see, the Wardens, this one is for the Lockwood MK2 for Modern Warfare 2 Marksman Rifle. We have the M16 Modern Warfare 2 Assault Rifle as well for the Jack Patriot. So you're going to see several of those. On top of this, we have Black Cell here. We, of course, know that this is our Battle Pass. There's some interesting dynamics to this Battle Pass, so that is going to change up a bit, but we'll look at that at launch. And this one is actually going to focus around Makarov. But, of course, we also have Snoop Dogg coming. We have Banshee, who is also a member of the Kony Ultranationalist, working alongside Makarov, as well as Hush or Bashir, who once again is ultra, also a part of the Kony Ultranationalist. Then our Black Cell operator is known as Stasis. We're also getting a Warzone fourth anniversary pack. I believe this one's going to be free, and this is going to be out on April 3rd. This one obviously has some stuff to do with various different locations, like Yurzik Stand. We have Gora Dam. We have Fortune's Keep. We're also getting a Cheech and Chong operator tracer pack. So this one, obviously, to do with 420. The Godzilla event is going to be coming. This one was leaked a while back. The Emperor pack, as well as a bunch of other bundles coming as well. The very end of the season, this is the camo that we're going to be get, getting for completing all of your weekly challenges. And as far as our seasonal events, we have the Godzilla versus King Kong coming on April 3rd. The Blaze Up, this one is obviously going to be to do with 420 as, as well as the high trip event and then we have the vortex event coming later on in the season of course our max rank is going to be increasing to 650 so 200 more levels there and i know it was a long one but that pretty much summarizes it the main focus clearly here is rebirth island as well as the 6v6 map that's going to be the majority of the content that you are getting within season three so let me know what you think. Do you think it's a good season? Is it a W? Is it an L? Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe. Lots more content coming. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace. We are, we are